Can you speak about what happened this evening here, sir, uh, at, this, at this meeting? Yes, sir. It, uh, just recently, uh, Governor Edwards issued a mask mandate. This occurred uh, a week or so ago. Uh, it was right at the beginning of our school year. In fact, it was issued on a Monday, put in effect on a Wednesday, and that Wednesday happened to be the first day of our four-day schools. It was at that point in time that we issued a parish-wide call to all of our parents, school officials, all those involved, that we would be following the mask mandate set down by Governor Edwards. It was very important that people know that we were mandated to follow that. There's been a question, is that a law? A mandate by the governor follows the same procedures as a law. So it was very important that we issue that mandate. As we know, in our society right now, there are a lot of people who do not wish to follow mandates or have questions about mandates or question whether this is on the political realm, whatever it may be. So what we have been dealing with this week is parents who have strong feelings one way or the other, and rightfully so. That is, they are entitled to those feelings. But we must follow that mandate because it is a part or portion of law that was given to us by our governor. With that in mind, then we had to have some type of exemption form for those who may have a medical condition. What we discussed tonight was that medical form, medical accommodation form. Many people felt like it should just be able to be signed by the parent, and we accept that through much legal consultation and working on it with some of the fellow board members. It was determined that it was necessary for that to be from a medical professional, whether it be a nurse practitioner or a doctor, <clears throat> whatever it may be that we accept those forms. So that is the form that we presented tonight for those who may have a medical exemption. Realize that it will be a medical personnel who will be determining that medical condition. And so as we move forward, our sole proprietor is we want to educate children. We want them in our schools. We want them to be as safe as possible and do the things that we can to keep our children in the educational world.